Good morning. We had quite a little rainstorm last night uh, and it cooled down dramatically. It was, uh, I think, like 62 degrees when we finally shut the van doors and closed all the windows. It was really, really cold. We saw the clouds uh, in the front kind of moving in from the west here last night. Uh, and as it rolled in, the temperature just went boom, plummeted. So we shut the doors up and it rained pretty good overnight. Woke up this morning to some, uh, some wet desert ground and some amazing wet desert smells. I'm gonna uh, jump in the clam. Wow, that sun is peeking in and out from behind some clouds here. Ooh, look at that. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, so I'm gonna jump in the clam and do some studying. I'm halfway through, over the halfway point on, the, on my studying. I'm at chapter 15 of 26, so I'm cruising right along. I did want to mention we got a call yesterday from the follow-up visit with the vet for Bailey. Uh, we had a couple of sites that they took some samples and did a little biopsy, uh, little areas of concern. Uh, they both came back uh, clear. The one on her chest was just a, a fatty mass. Uh, older dogs will, will get those. So that was fine. Uh, that came back fine. The one on her belly came back a little, I don't want to say like inconclusive, but it wasn't quite as clear. Uh, there weren't any bad things in there, um, but it was hard to, you know, diagnose exactly what it is. There was a lot of fluid, a lot of inflammation in the sample that they took. Uh, so the vet here wants to put her on another round of antibiotics, a different antibiotic specific to what they found in the sample. That's uh, so a different antibiotic from what she's currently on from the emergency uh, vet visit. We'll do a round of that and a round of anti-inflammatories just to see if that changes anything. Uh, we'll do a follow-up with our regular vet when we get back to Washington because we're going to be kind of on the road uh, from this point on, really. I mean, we're not going to you know, I mean, be moving at a rapid pace, but we are going to be starting our way north. So the two-week run of the antibiotics and anti-inflammatories is going to kind of cut into the time we're going to start traveling uh, to get back up to Washington. Uh, you know, for the, for the summer. So we'll do a follow-up with our regular vet when we get there with the results from the test and, and see what happens. But uh, yeah, it was a little, a little uh, cloudy, I guess I could say, uh, for actually diagnosing what is going on in that area with that lump. So we'll see if the antibiotics and anti-inflammatories help with that. But good news, all around good news. There wasn't anything that was a, you know, a, a a definite it's bad or you know anything like that it, it all was looking looking good so way to go bailey good job thank you all so very much for um, your love and your prayers and your well wishes for her she's an amazing dog and she absolutely means the world to both of us so we're we're very thrilled with uh that progress so far uh, and and she is doing a lot better she's feeling a lot better i'm gonna just go enjoy the morning here look at these flowers this desert is incredible the blooms it's amazing. So I'm just going to go enjoy the morning here, get to studying, uh, and have the good rest of my day. My setup here in the clam, doing some studying. Get the get the frisbee. Good boy. Get the frisbee. Go on, baby. Get the frisbee. Get it. Good job. Good boy. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Good boy, buddy. Good boy, that's about time. <laughs> Only took you a couple months. But... Get it, Flinny. Get the frisbee. Get the frisbee. We're gonna take the clam down. There. It's dry after last night's rain, and there's something gonna be heading our way here in a bit. It's supposed to rain this afternoon, so we figure let's take it down while it's dry. Uh, and I think we're actually gonna leave out of here tomorrow. I'm not sure that we're gonna stay uh, too much longer in this particular area. We've got some things we have to do closer to Phoenix, so we might as well just kind of move out and see a different spot.
well, we got the clam taken down. We've got Emily's extension cord rolled up so it doesn't get wet. We took our rug away from our door here so it doesn't get wet. Packed everything up dry, which is always a goal because it's gonna rain again. We just had a big old clap of thunder. Uh, look all around us. Random, random bits of rain. Bailey's not happy. We might have to hunker down a little bit, who knows. Hanging out here this morning after a rainy night. Hi, Flynn. Morning, buddy. Morning, buddy. Hi. It's kind of wet and... <gasps> bonus coffee. Oh, bonus coffee, bonus coffee, bonus coffee. Thank you. Mm. Hi, Flynn. Do you want coffee? Want some coffee? Anyway, we're hanging out here this morning. It's gorgeous. The sun's going to come out later on. Everything smells so wonderful. The... The desert got a good bath last night. Man, the lightning was awesome. So glad I was able to get that on, on video. Oh, Bailey's getting breakfast and Flynn's at the door. He's like, hey. He's like, hey. Oh, have you eaten breakfast already? Yeah? Okay. Okay. But Bailey's eating. You're so handsome. Oh my gosh. We moved to uh, the North Ranch Escapees RV Park here outside of Congress, Arizona. Emily was leaving today. She's got a friend coming in to Phoenix tomorrow. So she was leaving today and we thought, you know, we'll just, we'll move, we'll go do uh, laundry, take showers. We've got to be in Phoenix ourselves at the end of the week. Uh, so we thought, well, let's just go, let's just head out. Cell service was kind of lousy where we were anyway. And so we said, oh, let's just, let's just go someplace new. So we're here for a couple days. We're gonna take advantage of uh, hot showers and do some laundry. We're walking Bailey right now. We just had dinner. And um, yeah, then we'll move on to another location uh, before we head to Susan's. I think we're gonna be at Susan's sometime Wednesday afternoon. So we'll keep you posted right now. It's dog walk time. Right, Bailey? Dog walk time? Yeah. Wow, look at this, you guys. Look at that bloom. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. I had no idea they bloomed like that. Wow. That's beautiful. Holy smokes. Oh my God, look at that. That's so cool. Well, we're back in Sun City West visiting our friend Susan here. We're gonna hang out here for, I don't know, probably four or five days. We're gonna go see a comedy show. We're just gonna hang out here and just chill and enjoy relaxing. Back here in Surprise, just picked up Bailey's meds from the vet. So we're gonna have a two week round of antibiotic and anti-inflammatory. See if we can uh, see what's going on with that second area that was checked out. Uh, we'll have our vet back in Washington have a look at her when we get there uh, and follow up on that. But this is to see if we can rule out any possible uh, you know, minor infection and get some inflammation down in that area. Heading into the Desert Improv right over here, just outside of Phoenix. We're going to go see Kristen Key, the comedian tonight. That's the reason we came back uh, to Sun City West and the Phoenix area. Not bad seats for general seating here. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, what a fantastic time we had last night at that comedy show. Oh my gosh. Uh, Kristen Key, <clears throat> if you ever get a chance to see her, she's amazingly funny. She is so, so good. Energy in the room was just on a high level. It was so wonderful. Uh, I'm going to end the week here. We are still in Susan's place. We might meet up with Emily, uh, maybe tomorrow. She's still got her friend visiting from uh, New York, so we might meet up with her and uh, Julie um, before she drops Julie off to the airport. We've also got another friend, Catherine, in the area. We might try to find her and meet up with her. Carly, our friend Carly is back uh, in Wendon. She's been away for a while, uh, so we might go uh, see her. I take that back. We're definitely gonna go see her. We haven't spent much time with her this, uh, this winter as we've been down here. And uh, then we're gonna start making a plan to head back north. We gotta get back um, up into Washington by the end of, or I'm sorry, by mid-May. We've got something scheduled there. But we are going to definitely enjoy our last few days here in this area, our last few days with Susan for this, uh, this part of the year, this season. And uh, thanks for following along. We had a great week. I want to mention Bailey is doing much, much better. We picked up her new medications and so she's been on that second round of antibiotics and the anti-inflammatories. And she is doing a lot better. She's almost back to her normal self. She's spunky, she feels good, she's eating well. Everything's going great. So thanks for all of your prayers and your love uh, for our girl. She's, she's a pretty amazing dog and uh, we, we think the world of her. So thank you so much. Talk to you later. One more thing I forgot to mention, in the description below, I have put a link to Emily's channel. Uh, that SpaceX launch video she got was pretty cool. Um, she does a podcast and has a YouTube channel, Dogs Are the Best Friends, so check her out. And also there's a link down there for Kristen Key, the comedy show that we saw uh, here in the Phoenix area. Uh, that was a lot of fun, amazing time. So yeah, check those out.